invite all the children in the congregation to come and gather right around here so that I can talk to you for a little bit. And everybody may be seated. Our servers and acolytes, too. Everybody come just take a seat. Yay, huh? How's everybody doing today? Good. You had a good weekend? Yeah. That's good. It hasn't been as rainy as I thought it was going to be. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. You guys do some fun stuff? You know what I noticed this morning when I walked to church? Everything is in bloom. It's a little bit late, but everything looks so beautiful outside, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, especially I was impressed outside of my house even. I didn't plant them, but there's these beautiful azaleas that are bright red. Uh, but that kind of puts a smile on my face. Well, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the gospel we heard today. Uh, we heard Jesus talking. And one of the things Jesus says is that I came here to teach you every single thing I know about God. Do you know how he taught people? Does anybody have any ideas how he taught us? Absolutely. Does anybody know the name? You're, uh, man, I didn't expect us to get this far this quickly. <laughs> All right. Wow. So does anybody know the name of those stories that aren't real but teach us about something that absolutely, what a, what a great description of them, but teach us about something that's real? Parables. Jesus taught us about who God was through parables. What else did he use? Did he show us? Yeah. By the way, he took care of, one of, of, of people. So he showed us, he taught us through parables, and sometimes he just... He just, he, he just, he, 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 he
You know, that's an important part about love. It's kind of easy to love people that love us a ton and ton. It's, I, you know, I love my mom and dad. They take very good care of me. Uh, but sometimes it's harder to love people you, that are a stranger or people that uh, aren't as nice to you. But you're right. Jesus isn't just talking about loving people who, uh, uh, who love you back right away. Mm-hmm. I love when those things, you have those moments. Aren't those great moments? When somebody uh, offers to help, somebody unexpectedly offers to do something for you. I think those acts of love and kindness are very, very important. All right. Has anybody not had a chance to talk yet that wants to talk about love? All right. Okay. So, up. Oh. An irresistible force that you can't take your mind off of. That's a brilliant definition. Wow. Well, I think all of these are wonderful things. And Jesus came to show us that God's love is beyond anything we can possibly imagine. And then he says something kind of odd. He says there's no greater love in the world than to lay down one's life um, for another person. What do you think he's talking about? Sometimes we do need a little rest. Mm -hmm. but, but can you think of a symbol up there that reminds us that God loved us enough to, to lay down his life for us? What symbols up there do you see? The cross. The cross. Do you think Jesus was talking about the cross? And do you think the cross shows us that God loves us more than anything in the whole world? Mm -hmm. One other thing that Jesus uses is he describes himself as the shepherd. And a long time ago, a shepherd would have all of the sheep inside a stone wall and the wall would be open enough for the sheep to get in and out. And you know what the shepherd would have to do at night? Sleep right in the opening because if any anim wild animals or any bad guys came, he would be right there to protect them. So lying right there between them and anything bad that could happen to them. So I think he's talking about that too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think, yeah, when uh, we all have stuff, something that reminds us of love, that helps make it, love makes us feel safe and secure. You know, but I want to talk about another part of what Jesus said. Jesus said not just God is love and not just how much God loves you, but he said the most important thing that you do and that you are made for this, that you are made for this. I know. You know. What do you know? Don't just love yourself, love other people. High five. <laughs> Don't just love yourself, love others. He said... Love one another the way that God loved you. We just talked all about how much God loved us, right? Yeah. And he wants us to love one another that way. And you know what he says will happen when we do that? Okay, follow me here. This is going to take a little bit. So anybody know who Bryce Harper is? You've heard of him? All right, what do you think it feels like to Bryce Harper when he hits a baseball 450 feet into the bleachers? How do you think it makes him feel? Proud? And what else? Happy. Happy? I think so, absolutely. Uh, he was made to hit a baseball really, really far, right? How do you think Mr. Jesse feels when he plays the perfect favorite hymn on the organ? How do you think that makes him feel? Good and special? Like God made him to play that organ that way? And when the choir sings a perfect song? Or do anybody know who Picasso is? Who's Picasso? An artist? You know, when he painted that perfect picture and he looks at it, do you think he, do you think he was filled with joy? Or a writer when they finished that, that book? You know, all of us, whenever we use those special gifts that God gives us, uh, it fills us with joy. And what God says is that the special gift I gave to every one of you is my love. And whenever you share that special gift with the world, it's just like Bryce Harper hitting a home run. 
It should make you feel filled with joy. And that's really what God wants for us, is for our hearts to be filled with joy. And so you all, just like Bryce Harper's a professional baseball player, you guys are professional lovers. And your job is to love one another the way that who loved you? God. Who loves you? God. Who will always love you? God. Absolutely. Can you all give me an amen? One, two, three. Amen. Thank you all for all your help. All right. So let's go back to our seats and make sure you... Make sure you tell your parents all that you learned.